Hi, I'm Sally Dolan, the Lazy Quilter, and today we're going to fix this uh, cutting mat that I have, and it was damaged when we were working on a large quilt and accidentally ironed off the board onto this mat, and it warped it all up, so I've been avoiding it long enough, and it's time now to fix her up. You're going to need uh, a bath towel that's been wet through, iron as hot as you can get it, a board, something flat that you can lay over it when we're done, and some books to give it some weight. Now you've got your wet towel, and this is really quite wet, not dripping, but obviously soaked through. I dipped it in the bathroom and uh, rang it out pretty good. We're going to spread the towel over the area that's been affected, and then we're going to, I, I don't think I want to put this border on here. It might affect it. We'll just do this. Spread it out. And then we're going to start pressing it with our iron, which we've let warm up to pretty darn warm. Just as hot as it'll go. It's just a cheapy old iron, but it's going to do the trick, I think. All right, now we've ironed this for about seven to ten minutes and got it really pretty warm. And the next step we're going to do is we're going to put a board on here with some books to weight it down and then we're going to let it sit overnight. If you can see this, it's still kind of bubbling, but that heat and moisture, it has to be wet, are really going to uh, help us get this flattened out. And this towel is a very heavyweight towel, so if you don't have heavyweight towels, use two thinner ones. Uh, just smooth them out good. And then iron, iron, iron. Seven to ten minutes or so. Alright, here we go. Now this is one of my pressing mats. And it's going to get wet in this process, and I don't care. And now we've got some weight on here. We're going to let it sit overnight, and tomorrow morning we're going to take another look at it. Morning, everyone. It's Sally Jolin, and we're back on day two of fixing Sally's cutting mat. Uh, since you saw us, Doug and I snuck a peek. We couldn't stand it. So last night we took a look at what was happening under all this. And you'll notice that the board that was on here was a white covered board that I press on upside down. Probably not my best idea. So we switched it to this wood piece of board where, I don't know where we found it. But uh, you'll see that it the moisture warped it, so keep that in mind. And we added more books. And we also pulled out this industrial iron that gets really hot. So, use your hottest iron, whatever that is. And uh, I also have an old iron, if you recall the kind that our grandmothers had. I, I bought one at a garage sale, and it gets super hot too. So, if you're lucky enough to have one of those, you might find... This towel, by the way, is still very, very wet. It's not perfect. But it's going to do, and I'm, gonna, I'm happy that it's much better. What we're going to do is, this is just a little larger than my cutting table. And down here, there's a crack along the edge. We're going to pull this over, trim off the edge, and we're going to use masking, or not masking tape, but packaging tape. We're going to tape this down, and it's going to do just fine until I can save up to buy another one. Uh, make the best out of what you've got, and I think this is going to work a long time. And it's already been working probably somewhere between 15 and 20 years, heavy duty jobs. So uh, you can get plenty out of your cutting mat, just don't give up on them and toss them out. And I thank you for stopping in. Have a great day and enjoy your quilting.